Grief is the price we pay for love. I lived long enough to know that things never remain quite the same for very long. The true measure of all our actions is how long the good in them lasts. When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat, instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. In an era when the regular worthy rhythm of life is less eye-catching than doing something extraordinary, I am reassured that I am merely the second sovereign to celebrate a diamond jubilee. I have to be seen to be believed. While we may have more still to endure, better days will return, we will be with our friends again, we will be with our families again, we will meet again. It's worth remembering that it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. When peace comes, remember it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. It has always been easy to hate and destroy. To build and to cherish is much more difficult. I cannot lead you into battle, I do not give you laws or administer justice, but I can do something else, I can give you my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations. Often a child's helplessness and vulnerability bring out the best in us. Everyone is our neighbor, no matter what race, creed or color. The birth of a baby brings great happiness but then the business of growing up begins. I am reminded of a lady of about my age who was asked by an earnest, little granddaughter the other day, Granny, can you remember the Stone Age? Whilst that may be going a bit far, the older generation are able to give a sense of context as well as the wisdom of experience which can be invaluable. Over the years, those who have seemed to me to be the most happy, contented, and fulfilled have always been the people who have lived the most outgoing and unselfish lives. Sport has a wonderful way of bringing together people and nations. It is through this lens of history that we should view the conflicts of today, and so give us hope for tomorrow. Although we are capable of great acts of kindness, history teaches us that we sometimes need saving from ourselves, from our recklessness or our greed. Perhaps we make too much of what is wrong and too little of what is right. The trouble with gloom is that it feeds upon itself and depression causes more depression. Each day is a new beginning. I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give of my best in all that the day brings, and to put my trust in God. By being willing to put past differences behind us and move forward together, we honor the freedom and democracy once won for us at so great a cost. With age does come experience and that can be a virtue if it is sensibly used. No age group has a monopoly of wisdom, and indeed I think the young can sometimes be wiser than us. But the older I get, the more conscious I become of the difficulties young people have to face as they learn to live in the modern world. The upward course of a nation's history is due in the long run, to the soundness of heart of its average men and women. Even when your life seems most monotonous, what you do is always of real value and importance to your fellow men. Whatever life throws at us, our individual responses will be all the stronger for working together and sharing the load. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.